Never miss a morning briefing. Subscribe today to get our AM newsletter delivered to your inbox. As the country protests the death of George Floyd, the 46-year-old man killed by former Minneapolis police officer Derek Chauvin earlier this week, Angelinos are grappling with our feelings as well. On Air Talk yesterday, Cindy from South LA said, I think the protests are a visual manifestation of exhaustion of a history of oppression, a history of abuse. And it's just people who have taken too much this entire time, and they no longer want to stay complicit in their own dehumanization. In his weekly column on Laced, Eric Galindo wrote, It's not right and you know it. God, I hope you know it. I hope you see that it is wrong for black men to be killed simply for being black. And in his daily press conference, Governor Gavin Newsom became emotional talking about Floyd's death, and described finding out about the killing from his 10-year-old daughter, who showed him the gruesome video on TikTok. Maybe for a minute, you forgot that all of this is happening in the middle of a global pandemic that is affecting communities of color at disproportionate rates. But it is, and it all adds up to inequity on a gross and indefensible scale. I hope that as the smoke begins to clear, we can see our way into a new kind of future. Keep reading for more on what's happening in LA today, and stay safe out there. Jessica P. Ogilvy The past 24 hours in LOL. A. California, the world, there are now 51,678 coronavirus cases and 2,294 deaths in LA County, and at least 104,402 cases and 3,998 deaths in California. Worldwide, there are more than 5.9 million cases and over 364,000 deaths. Money Matters, April job numbers for the LA region show industries such as bookstores and apparel manufacturing have lost more than 60% of jobs compared to last year. Safety net healthcare programs that keep low-income Californians out of nursing homes are on the chopping block. LA Metro faces an estimated $1.8 billion shortfall. First person, Cypress College graduate Kylie Christensen reflects on virtual commencement ceremonies and the distress she felt spending the last two months away from teachers and friends. Angelinos speak out on the death of George Floyd in Minneapolis. Eric Galindo joins their voices, this country, man. It just breaks my heart over and over again until all I can do is nothing. Entertainment, in what is becoming 2020's rival to New Coke, Google Glass and the Facebook phone, the heavily funded Quibi is struggling on multiple fronts. Larry Mantle and KPCC film critics Amy Nicholson, Claudia Puig and Peter Rayner review this weekend's new movie releases. What to eat, at the King's Roost, Rosai is spreading the gospel of heritage grains, and because of coronavirus, more people are listening. Reopening California, in LA County, dine-in restaurants, barbershops, and hair salons can begin to reopen.